This video will present the disease of multiple sclerosis and the MRI imaging technology which is used to diagnose it. Multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune demyelinating disease which affects the brain and central nervous system. The disease attacks myelin, the protective sheath covering of nerves, which is essential to the transmission of nerve impulses. MS also affects oligodendrocytes, the cells which produce myelin. Demyelination occurs when the immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys the myelin covering of axons. This damage leads to inflammation and scarring that disrupts communication between parts of the nervous system. The disease leads to various sensory, motor, and cognitive problems. Multiple sclerosis can affect the function of many body parts such as organs and limbs due to its root in the central nervous system. Specific symptoms include extreme fatigue, loss of coordination, issues of sensation, blindness, organ problems, and cognitive impairment. Medical imaging technologies that can detect and diagnose multiple sclerosis include computed tomography, positron emission tomography, and magnetic resonance imaging. Let's take a closer look at the most common method, MRI. Magnetic resonance imaging is a technique which creates detailed interior images of the human body. It is often used to evaluate organs, muscle, bones, joints, and other connective tissues while excelling at differentiating between abnormal and regular anatomic structures. MRI scanners are often used to diagnose multiple sclerosis due to their accuracy in detecting abnormal nerve structures and the non-invasive nature of the technology. An MRI scanner works by using powerful magnetic fields and radio waves to measure the position of hydrogen nuclei or protons which are abundant in bodily water and fat. Under normal conditions, these protons are spinning in various directions on their axis, but in the influence of a strong magnetic field, they all align in the direction of the field. After the alignment of protons, the MRI scanner will apply a radio frequency pulse to the area of examination. Energy from the pulse flips the spin and direction of the protons by a specific amount. When the radio frequency is turned off, the protons gradually return to their normal alignments, releasing absorbed radio energy in the process. These resonance signals during the return process are measured by receivers in the scanner and mathematically converted into a visual image. Due to the variance in the rates which protons and different body tissues release radio energy, an MRI scanner can accurately differentiate between tissues. Furthermore, an MRI scanner can image areas of the body in any direction, enabling the creation of three-dimensional images which may be analyzed from different angles. There are no known biological risks associated with MRI technology as body chemistry returns to normal after a scan. Additionally, a major benefit of MRI over technologies such as CT and X-ray is the lack of ionizing radiation. The radio frequencies used in MRI do not cause any adverse effects, whereas ionizing radiation emitted by CT scanners has the potential to damage DNA. However, due to the use of magnetic fields, certain metal objects pose significant safety hazards. For example, magnetic implants such as pacemakers, artificial joints, and structural rods can move dangerously in an MRI scanner. As a result, a patient should always be screened for metal objects before undergoing an MRI scan. Furthermore, due to the enclosed design of conventional scanners, complications may arise with regards to claustrophobic or obese patients. Finally, the operation of an MRI scanner creates loud knocking noises which may cause hearing damage. This disadvantage, however, can be remedied with adequate ear protection. MRI technology has provided unprecedented benefits to our understanding of diseases and anatomy by enabling the non-invasive imaging of live patients. It has become a critical tool in researching and understanding the soft tissue of the body, including sensitive areas such as the brain. Additionally, the technology's superior ability to detect abnormalities has proved valuable in diagnosing a broad range of conditions from cancer to vascular disease. 
Canada's inventory of over 300 MRI units, available across each province and one territory, reflects the utility and importance of this technology for public health. These units were used extensively for medical applications, with Canadians undergoing 1.7 million MRI scans in 2012. Overall, MRI imaging has enabled medical professionals to better diagnose and treat diseases such as multiple sclerosis for the benefit of patients.